Hello, let's see, where's the camera? Oh, there's the camera. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 9th of 2018. Uh, I had a couple people ask me about blood pressure, how to take blood pressure and that type of stuff. This is not going to be a, I'm not gonna tell you how to take blood pressure. You can look up on, uh, I, uh, I guess I learned how to take blood pressure when I, uh, you know, manually. Uh, when I took an EMT course and graduated uh, from the EMT course, emergency medical technician. And that was a long time ago. I'm not sure I'd still be able to do it. I think I would, not that much to it. but. For a long time, I've been uh, using devices like this. Here's one of them. And I really, you know, I'm guessing, I bet probably you could get, uh, you know, the stethoscope and an inexpensive one and the cuff and everything, probably for 20 bucks, maybe less on Amazon or someplace, or, you know, your local drugstore. Um, but there is a whole bunch of different. Uh, here's another one. A whole bunch of uh, different. And this is, these are just so much better. Not much point doing this without putting it on. But, uh, Now the problem some, that some people run into, I don't run into that. Uh, some people have really big arms. Uh, so you need a large blood pressure you know, cuff to do that. They make them in different sizes, but I've seen, uh, like I worked hospital security for 30 years and saw people come in sometimes with really big arms, they had difficulty, you know, taking their blood pressure. Um, so it seems to me like this one, I can't, this one I had, I've had for a long time and I forget why I, I still had it. I think I gave it to a family member and then they never used it. And then I ended up, you know, with this one that I had been using for myself. And right now I am for my, my doctor wants me to have been writing down uh, my blood pressure readings uh, because my doctor is thinking about uh, reducing my blood pressure med well, in fact uh, the doctor already has me cutting it in half using a pill cutter and taking a half dose and I'm going to do that for I think a week I believe he said and what he's really concerned with is uh, that my heart rate wants to make sure that it, my heart rate doesn't go down. I have a pacemaker, by the way, in me. But uh, I do, well, let's go to Amazon. Let me pull this up here. Blood pressure. Did you hear my stomach growl? Here you have a whole bunch of these uh, ones like I'm using. Let's see if they have any regular ones. Here's a kind a hospital would use, although I haven't actually seen that kind. Yeah. Okay, I uh, I tried this one for someone who had very large arms and they said that this didn't, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, blood pressure, you're going to get people that are going to say, oh, the, that blood pressure is perfectly all right. Yeah, you know, sure, I, I think it's a great idea to have a device like this and to, and to use it occasionally. I think, you know, listen to what your doctor says and everything, but I don't think your, your doctor does not want you because when I've mentioned that I take my blood pressure, the uh, whatever doctor I'm using will say, well, you don't need to do it every day. You don't need to do it, you know. They don't want you 
doing your blood pressure every day and then calling them up every day saying, oh, my blood pressure this, you know. But uh, I, well, let's see, we wanted to, I wanted to show you the price of uh, just a, Okay, here's the kind, too, that you see in the hospitals and stuff. Come on. Okay, here we are. $24. Uh, and I think you could get it from, I think you could, if you look down here, I bet it's here's, here's one. $15. So you can get them off. But, you know, I'd really uh, suggest to you that... Uh, get one like this. There again, uh, it's really great when you're having, maybe if you're having chest pain or if you, you wake up with a headache or something rather too. Uh, like I said, I, uh, I showed you one for somebody who's, two, you're going to get people because I, you know, I have my blood and I have family members and people say, well, that's good, you know, that's a good blood pressure, you know, you, you should get to know, you know, get to know your own blood pressure, work with, you know, when you go to the doctor, they take your blood pressure there at the office, of course, you don't go that often, to see what is your normal range, to see what the doc and the doctors are going to prescribe, maybe high blood pressure medicine for you or something like that, but um, this does give you so anyway, let's see if we can, uh, I'm not sure if I can get the, uh, let me move this down here, see if this works for us. Yeah, I think that's going to work okay. <clears throat> so there'll be instructions and you're going to want this, there'll be an X or whatever, you're going to want this over your, Uh, just follow the instructions. Uh, okay, let's go back up here. This is not working. I need to. I need to start using my one of my other cameras. Here we go. Yeah. Your artery right here. This is going to go over it. Those are instructions. There'll be lines on it. I'm going to put my arm down now. And I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, well, I don't have my arm down too much. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to hold this out so you can. This is not the way to do this, but I'm going to, uh, okay. You should be, you know, you should be relaxed or whatever with your arm down. You know, I'm so weak and old anymore, just holding this up like this is, maybe it'd be like, I feel like I'm uh, having to do some type of, forced PT or something or other. Okay, 113 over 57 and 58 heart rate. Okay, that is, that's kind of, for me, I think that's kind of low. But, uh, and that's what I've been worried about, 113. I lost 58. 58 is kind of low too, but let me, I'm going to do this now with my hand down. You know, resting on the, not, not holding it up and that type of stuff. And I'll probably void out that uh, reading and not turn that into my, uh, my doctor. Now the type of blood pressure you know I've had is like 127 over 60, 126 over 61, 119 over 58, things like that. Um, if you're a young person, and if those are like normal for you, okay, well, 118 over 60, 57. I'm not happy with that, because uh, that's really low for me. Let me write down the time here, 1047. Okay, 
like only short to you. Now there's going to be a bunch of you, especially people that are young people that are, uh, you know, jog, ride bikes, do that kind of stuff. They're going to say, oh, that's an excellent blood pressure. But I, you know, talk to your doctor and uh, do a little bit of research. And I'm, I'm not, this is, I just wanted to show this. I had a couple people who were interested in, you know, how do you take your blood pressure? And I don't think that some of them have even seen, you know, seen these or used it. And you can, like I said, I had uh, gave this to a family member. I can't remember which one. They had to use it. And then I had another one for a family member or a friend who was like the wrist one that you saw because their arm was too big. You couldn't even get the cuffs to go around it. And they said it wasn't, at, you know. So I've, <laughs> with the blood pressure thing, you just get a whole bunch of people saying, oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You get people say, oh, don't pay any attention to, they'll say, oh, my doctor told me not to pay any attention to the top number. Uh, they'll say, oh, just pay attention to it. So, now, uh, you can, you know, look this type of information up when you're wondering about what your, you know, blood pressure should be and what have you. And you, I uh, actually printed out a, a thing like this. I have it printed out on photo, you know, the hard photo paper that I've had for years. It's, I don't know where it is now, but, uh, so that's it. I do recommend having something like this because uh, I'm 77 years old. I almost never, I think that's because I don't have any brain cells or whatever. It is extremely rare for me to ever have a headache. So if I have a headache, I think, okay, brain tumor, you know, something like that. And, uh, which I'm not sure, you know. So it makes me feel better to take my blood pressure. Um, so I've got an electronic scale. I keep track of my weight that way. The reason for this blood pressure thing is I was like 240 to 245 pounds. 245 when I got to that, oh my God, 240 I thought, you know. But I was in the hospital for six days. Couldn't eat for six days because of nausea. The medication they were giving me I came out after I didn't eat for like a week or six days. I came out and I thought, uh, I will have lost some weight. Didn't lose any. But then out of the hospital, uh, I've lost about 20 pounds. And then I, I, I felt faint one day, you know, because I take my blood pressure. I took it occasionally. But then I almost fainted one day. So I took it and then it was really low. So then I, you know, started taking it and then I contacted my doctor and said, hey, you know, I've lost about 20 pounds. Maybe my blood pressure medicine needs to be changed. So the uh, last, you know, the doctor said, okay, uh, for about a week, record your blood pressures and, you know, send them to me. And I'll see about cutting your, well, I actually already cut it. You know, he said, go ahead and cut it, you know in half, but he'll see about changing it. Uh, but what he's really concerned about, because I have a pacemaker in me, uh, he's really concerned about the, he wants to make sure that whatever my blood pressure is, that it does not, you know, do something with the heart rate. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'm not sure if this was any help to those who asked. Uh, but, you know, talk to your doctor if you have a, you know, a relative, uh, somebody who's a nurse or something, you know, ask their advice. Listen to your doctor, though. Uh, and then also you can look, you know, look up information on, you can find all kinds of information here. Just make sure that it's, you know, a reliable site. Uh, don't get sucked into some place that's going to tell you, oh, okay, well, you need to uh, 
take garlic or take uh, X number of units of vitamin C or something, you know, get your information on the internet you can find, as we know, you can find, I've got to get some food in my stomach. I'm not sure if you heard that or not. This Yeti microphone here is pretty good, you may be hearing my stomach growling. I'm still upset. <clears throat> I've been out of the hospital for about two weeks. My taste buds are still not back, and I'm having uh, difficulty. And it's a, the problem is the powerful antibiotic that they gave me for my infected uh, leg. Wonder if I, nobody has ever seen my. I wonder if I could. Uh, let's see. Keep in mind that it's, I'm not sure if I can raise my foot up without falling down. Well, that's not going to work. Well, just let me do that. This is a short, let's go down here a little bit. Dark underneath the, where is it? Is that my leg? Okay. That's, Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much for, for watching.